I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Playing. Today we're going to have some fun. Last night I was kind of messing around in the kitchen and uh, you know all my, about my junkyard target backings as I've showed you before on those where I get stuff in the you know, old lumber what have you, stick them together, make a good target backing about yay big so nothing will go through it. And the same thing here. Uh, that's what this is basically just a lot of old cardboard stuck together and then this right here is kind of a yard sign thing well I thought you know I like to plink at those cardboard rolls that come out of the middle of the toilet paper so what I did is I put something together here looks like a red green special don't it duct tape and what have you and and fishing line holding on to these. In fact, I don't even have them tied on actually. They're run through a hole. I took a drill, drilled some holes on either side, and then put it through there and used some tape just to hold it. So it'll probably get blown all apart. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to shoot at it with my gamo. <laughs> that ought to be something. The old gamo swarm here. And uh, after I empty a magazine there, which of course is 10 shots, I'm going to take this. Uh, Umarex NXG and kind of finish it off and hopefully it'll hold together but we'll take it out there we're going to shoot it now, I've even put some styrofoam bases but I don't think those are going to work right uh, put that on there to hold it because we got a lot of frost in the ground yet it's cold out here that's one reason I'm not using my CO2s I would have probably used my uh, Crossman 1077 besides but with the CO2 it's so doggone cold it's not going to last that long so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up, we're going to take some shots at it, and then come back with whatever's left of it, and hopefully it holds up, because like I said, I like shooting at these things, and uh, uh, they're good ones to have, and you know, you don't have to worry about a reset or anything, because you're going to hit it, and it's going to fly back, it should stay right there if it holds together. So we're going to shoot, and we're going to see what happens. Now we're going to fire a few out of the Omerax NXG. See how that works. I was hitting it, and at least they didn't. At least they didn't all fly off. So that makes it kind of nice. My golly, that one flipped right on around, didn't it? Well, Wonder of Wonders actually held together pretty good, except for the one. There's a piece of line that I see slipped out, but I'm not sure that even was from hitting it. Um, hit some decent shots. Uh, I seen one over here that I blew the center out of somewhere. I don't know. 
And then at one, of course, I flipped it all the way around, and it's still holding together pretty well, so, hey, that's not too bad of a plinking target, I guess you'd say. Um, a lot of fun in a way. It's, uh, it's different. Like I said, I like using these little toilet paper roll things anyway, and when you can set it up like that so that you don't have to reset them, they're just sitting there and they're just flipping all around, and I said, I fired it with this. The, at first, I mean, that was what I fired at at first, was the uh, Gamo, that's the Swarm, so I had 10 rounds in that one, and I didn't have to reload, and then this one I had to do some pumping, but I think it's the doggone cold, I was having just a little bit of problems, and my hands are just darn near frozen, so I kind of quit, I mean, it's, uh, I'd like to do some more of it, it was kind of fun, like I said, and it was something that I just put together, and it shows you what you can do, just you know, experiment with it, have fun with it. There's nothing serious about shooting and plinking, really. It's just going out and having some fun. And when you can do it with good pellet guns like this, and, and these are even on the lower end, some of these things are getting, geez, it's unbelievable. They're almost as expensive as the powder burners in some cases they are. Uh, but uh, you know, just go out and have some fun. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.